Hello, I'm Deputy State Fire Marshal Robert Wittenberg, and I want to talk to you about your family's safety. It's always been important to have working smoke alarms in your home and to have a fire escape plan so that everyone knows how to get out. But today, the contents of your home can burn faster and hotter than they ever have before. This is primarily due to the use of more synthetic materials, as well as lightweight construction and more open interior spaces. A fire in your home can grow quickly and become deadly in two minutes or less. If a fire started in your home, could you wake up, recognize the danger, and get out safely in under two minutes? What about the rest of your family? Your young children, older adults, people living with functional needs, your pets, or anyone who just can't get out quickly. Two minutes may not be enough time for everyone to get outside. And when the fire department arrives, it may have been several minutes since the fire started, and the fire may have spread to the whole house. But if we could stop a fire early and prevent rapid growth, we can give our family the time to get out safely and keep the fire to the contents of the room rather than the whole house. Residential fire sprinklers are on guard 24-7 protecting your family and your home. Home fire sprinklers respond quickly when a fire starts, spraying water on the fire while it's still small. Let's take a look and see how it works. In our demonstration trailer, we've set up a representative living room with fabric curtains hanging down and a garbage can on the floor. This is a simple setup, but likely contains items similar to what's in your home. Now if a heat source, such as a discarded cigarette or perhaps a lit match, was inadvertently tossed in the garbage can, that item would smolder, heating the paper until it eventually ignited. As the flames grow, it may spread to the curtains, the furniture, and the walls. The air in the room becomes superheated and deadly toxic smoke fills the space. Your lives and the lives of other household members are now in danger. So what if we had a firefighter with water ready to go, standing by 24 hours a day to stop the fire from ever getting that big? Look on the ceiling, there's a sprinkler head. This sprinkler head is connected to piping that supplies water here and to the other sprinkler heads around your home. This sprinkler head has a liquid filled bulb and a plug that holds the sprinkler head closed. When the temperature of that liquid reaches 155 degrees Fahrenheit, the bulb bursts, releasing the plug, discharging the water, and extinguishing the fire in as little as 30 seconds. This is the basics of a fire sprinkler system, and it gives your family time to safely get outside. Sprinkler heads aren't activated by smoke or smoke alarms. It takes the heat of a fire to burst the bulb, release the plug, and discharge the water. One sprinkler head discharges one-tenth the amount of water that fire hoses use, which means a lot less damage to other parts of your home. And in most cases, it takes just one sprinkler head to control a fire. Installing a home fire sprinkler system gives you and your family the time to get out safely. Having home fire sprinklers greatly reduces the damage to your home in case of a fire. If you plan to build or buy a new home, ask for residential fire sprinklers. For more information, or if you'd like to have the fire sprinkler demonstration trailer at your community event, check the State Fire Marshal's website. Thanks for watching, and thanks for keeping your family safe.